TKO Part 8 Used Up Meanwhile, the frog knew about Trisha's man in jail, and he knew it was getting close to the time that her man was going to get out. He was reminded because she began spending more time at Ronald's mother's house. She had told Ronald about the frog, but explained to him that he was another man she did house cleaning for. She had already been claiming to be a housekeeper for another man who lived about 60 miles away and was an executive in a large corporation before she and Ronald had gotten together. She met him in a bar one night and she pushed up on him enough after he bought her numerous drinks that he had ended up bringing her to his home. She had been in this housekeeping sexual relationship for years. After a while, the relationship became more about her housekeeping duties and she began going there to wash his clothes, change linen on his bed, clean bathrooms and whatnot while he was at work. Once Ronald finally got out of jail, they lived at his mother's house as if he had never left. The frog was particularly put out over this and was begging her regularly whenever he could get to her. Since Ronald had nothing, she easily convinced him to allow her to see the frog and the other guy so that she could clean their apartments for money. Ronald knew in the back of his mind what was probably occurring between her and these men, but he decided to go along with the housekeeping story and considered it necessary until he got a job. Trisha managed to convince the frog to let her borrow his car on a few occasions. Sometimes she wouldn't return his car to him for days and he would be furious because he would end up taking the bus to work. But once she finally returned his car and he saw her, he would put on a front like he was mad, but she would easily calm him down when she unbuckled his belt, an act which brought on his trance. She began taking the frog's car to pick up Ronald and take him with her to the executive's house. They would have luxurious sex in the executive's bed while he was at work, drink his wine, and have a grand old time. This went on for a while, a couple of times per month, until one day the frog's car broke down on the highway. Trisha managed to call someone to pick her and Ronald up and she left the frog's car on the side of the highway. She didn't even bother to call him to tell him what happened to his car. The frog did find out by way of a summons in the mail about abandoning his car on the highway and he was so outraged that he wanted to kill Trisha. He waited and waited for her to contact him, as she usually did, but it didn't happen. She left the frog completely after his car broke down and never contacted him again. <laughs>